Hey guest and welcome back to the Rogers House. And today is Tablescape Tuesday hosted by those beautiful ladies of elegance, Courtney from Amethyst Adventures and Anna from the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. I will link their channel info as well as the playlist link and the hashtag down in my description box. So guests, as you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and so today I wanted to pay tribute to those survivors of breast cancer and and to those who are still in the fight for a cure. So guess did you know that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, which is about one person every two minutes in the United States. Breast cancer happens in all ethnicities, races, and genders. It does not care if you're rich or poor. Breast cancer can affect anyone. So today I want to pay tribute to some of those individuals that you all may know um, because you've seen them on television. But as I said, it, hap it can happen to anyone. But I just wanted to pay tribute to those people who are survivors and who are still in the fight for a cure. So the Rogers House is doing breast cancer survivor shout out. So Shannon Doherty, who was one of the actresses on Beverly Hills 90210, said, ultimately, they're just breasts, right? I mean, I love them, they're mine, they're beautiful, but in the grand scheme of things, I would rather be alive and I would rather grow old with my husband. Robin Roberts from Good Morning America quoted, Be patient and persistent. Life is not so much what you accomplish as what you overcome. And then, guess, did you know that non-Hispanic black men have the highest breast cancer incident rate overall and then Hispanic men have the lowest. Richard Roundtree who is an actor um, that you may know by Shaft, he is a breast cancer survivor and he stated that although it happens more rarely in men breast cancer is not gender specific I was in Costa Rica and in the shower and I felt a lump under my left nipple it was very small mind you but enough to make me call the doctor and guess you may remember my very dear friend Phyllis Looney Jones that I interviewed last year on my breast cancer awareness um, segment her quote is and it's only by the grace of God that I'm still here to tell my story and then my mom who is 98 years young her quote is we serve a mighty God she is a 53 year survivor and I just want to leave you all with uh, a quote from Helen Keller who says, Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. So guess today I'm going to be showing you a tablescape in tribute to those survivors and those who are still in the fight for a cure. Today I'm calling my video Gratitude.
So guess I hope you enjoy seeing my gratitude video in tribute to breast cancer survivors and for those who are still in the fight for a cure. Please go and get your mammograms, the 3D mammogram, because early detection is key. Please do your self-examinations each month and if you feel that there is something that is not right, don't overlook it, don't play it off like it's nothing please make an appointment to see your doctor. It's better to be safe than sorry. So if this is your first time visiting, welcome. And I hope you'll consider becoming a guest of the Rogers House. And if you are a returning visitor, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I've uploaded more videos. And I want to thank you all for visiting the Rogers House.